So let's look at the, how we can be able to do a laboratory or how we can be able to convert laboratory results from milligrams per deciliter um, to millimole per liter. All right. So uh, the symbols are like this. All right. In case you have been confused by the full names, all right. mg slash dl, then um, mo per liter. All right. So how can you be able to convert values from milligrams per deciliter to millimoles per liter that's what we'll be looking at right so this question was asked in the exam um, a patient has a urine calcium concentration of about what, 80 milligrams per deciliter okay so what is the concentration in millimoles per liter right so let's look at that um, these are just illustrative images, all right? This is the main thing here. It's a very simple formula, all right? So to convert milligrams per deciliter to millimoles per liter, you simply need to multiply any value you have by 0 0.0555, okay? 0 0.0555, all right? So now, um, milligrams per deciliter, you multiply it by 0 0.0555. Okay, so what was the value for what milligrams per deciliter it was 80? Urine calcium concentration of about 80 milligrams per deciliter. All right, so 80 milligrams per deciliter, you multiply it by what 0 0.0555. All right, it will give you what 4.4 millimoles per liter. All right, so now the vice versa is like this if you want to convert this. 4.4 millimoles per liter to milligrams per deciliter. You simply multiply by what? 18.018. Okay? 18.018. If you multiply this by 18.018, it should give you 79.9 something, something. So if you approximate it, it will give you what? 80 milligrams per deciliter. You understand? So that's how to what? Interconvert. Uh, between these two um, useful um, SI units, right? So this is what milligrams per deciliter to millimole per liter, right? And that's how to do it. So bye for now, guys.